Alright, so, first thing you might notice is I have new glasses. My old ones were five years old, and as you can see, they were held together entirely by uh, super glue. And now everything is sharper and brighter, and, well, not so much brighter, but <clears throat> closer, including the ground, which makes me feel like my legs are shorter. Not that that makes a graceful creature such as myself clumsy and stumbly. Oh, no, no, not me. Anyway... <clears throat> The game for this week. I've been wanting to play this for years, and it's a combination I can't even imagine. It is... Here's a Might and Magic 3, and Sherlock Holmes. It doesn't even make sense! I mean, I can't... I literally cannot imagine this, but I've wanted to try it for years, seriously. Everyone's favorite Sherlock Holmes quote, well, not my favorite, my personal favorite is, There's nothing so unnatural as the commonplace. <sighs> I really can't imagine this. It's like a, it's like if you told me, oops, what, no, it's like if you told me you put a glove on a horse, I'd be like, what? That doesn't fit. That, you can't put a, no. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why? But, as a, big fan of turn-based strategy games, and somebody who's read all of Arthur, Sir Arthur Conan Doyle's uh, Sherlock Holmes stories, and quite a few stories written by other people, and as somebody who really appreciates, you know, fan-made content, if anyone in the world can appreciate this, it should be me. Now, I've actually played a tiny bit into this. Uh, I was trying to record it, and I had problems, and I've had to restart, um, you know, I had to restart. But, uh, after the first week, it gives us some of the information about what they're gonna do, and apparently I'm supposed to gather clues, find things, uh, figure out the identity of people, uh, I'll be rated based on how good I do with my deductive reasoning, and I can't imagine any of that in a Heroes 3 map. It doesn't make sense. But I've said that several times now, so let's just find out. Let's get started, shall we? The hooded figure glanced nervously over his shoulder for the constable that had been tracking him since he had lifted the Sword of Judgment from the Arathia National Museum. A worried smile formed on his face as he sighted the gate up ahead where his boss had told him to go. Why his boss wanted him there, he could not guess. But he knew better than to ask questions. No, no, no. His boss did not like questions. He knew of only one person who had dared to question the boss's orders. And what had happened to him, he wouldn't wish on his worst enemy. This whole job just didn't make sense, though. Why did he have to carry this blue banner? And why did the boss have him steal the Sword of Judgment? Activate the ancient portal, then have him hide the sword again after he had went through. If he didn't know better, he would think the boss had no plans of returning. But he knew better than to ask questions. He would simply be content to dwell on the gold the boss would reward his faithful servant when he returned. He knew the boss would give him just what he deserved. Dun, dun, dun! But just in case the boss didn't return and see fit to give him his due, he had made a map of the location of where he had hidden the Sword of Judgment and that other little goody. If the boss didn't see fit to give him his just rewards, he would just return and take them for himself. Who knows? If he wielded the Sword of Judgment, he just might be the new boss. Besides, he had it on good authority that the political climate was changing, and that, the new and that new alliances were being formed. At the very least, these artifacts would put him in good standing with the new powers. But still, the boss was not one to be taken lightly. It's the constable. He has five riverns. I have one rogue. Boy, I wonder who the villain could be. Does it start with an M? No. 
Suddenly, a group of sharpshooters emerged out of the shadows. So here is the help the boss promised me. Just in time, I might say. That nasty little constable will get the surprise of his life when we turn about on him. Suddenly, the hooded figure got a puzzled look on his face as the sharpshooters took aim at him. Without even time to let out a cry of protest, he fell to the ground in a heap. Moments later, the same fate befell the constable. The sharpshooters quickly drifted back into the shadows, unseen from any prying eyes, save one. But not before they had pocketed the maps. They didn't understand why the boss ordered their comrade's assassination, but they knew better than to ask questions. After all, no one ever questions the boss. Ah, 221B Baker Street. Oh, I want to go in there and get all the spells, but I can't. These are blocked up. Well, I have to start moving in this direction. Suddenly, there was a loud rap at the door. Watson wondered of who, who on earth would be out in this ungodly weather. It had been snowing day and night for the last month and a half. The whole country had come to a standstill. Then there was the reports of spectral beings roaming the countryside, along with the disappearances of many of the locals, including the housekeeper, Mrs. Hudson's niece, Clara. Many claimed it was the end of the world. Watson did not care one way or the other. He had lived a full life. Watson opened the front door, and a page handed him a letter. It read... If you, have, if you have received this message, it means I have not returned yet and am in need of your assistance. Come quick, follow my instructions to the letter. There is not a moment to be lost. You are in mortal danger. The directions were precise and the writing firm and clear. There could be no doubt who had written it. Watson got quickly dressed. I have one swordsman. I am a level five Watson. Immunity to destroy undead. That'll help. It's probably the random artifact I rolled at the beginning. These, however, are not random artifacts. These are things. Oh, ooh, archery. Nice. I think I would have had expert first aid, but. Hmm. Watson stepped out into a blinding snowstorm. The wind seemed to scream out with contempt for him. He wrapped his overcoat tightly about his body and shivered uncontrollably. He knew very well just how dangerous it was to be out in this weather. But he was not one to let a friend down, no matter what danger lay before him. Watson locked the door behind him and began his journey, headed to where the letter had told him to go. Suddenly, Watson felt a chill run up his spine. A morbid dread seemed to claw at his heart. Out of the corner of his eye, he caught a glimpse of a shadow racing in his direction. He knew instinctively that that shadow was coming for him, and if it caught up to him, it would be his end. One wrong move, and it would be his last. There would be no time for good goodbyes, no time for anything but the race of his life. And I can't touch or pick up any of these things, because I will lose the game. That's not a joke. I'll just lose the game. I have to run as fast as I can. Suddenly a thick black cloud swirled before Watson's eyes, and his mind told him that in that cloud, unseen as yet, but about to spring out upon his appalled senses, lurked all that was vaguely horrible. All that was vaguely horrible. Okay. All that was monstrous and inconceivably wicked in the universe. Vague shapes swirled and swam amid the dark cloud bank, each a menace and a warning of something coming. The advent of some unspeakable dweller upon the threshold, whose very shadow would blast his soul. 
Watson raced up the path as fast as his legs would carry him. He glanced over his shoulder, and a freezing horror took possession of him. A dense black cloud had formed around his house. His hair began to rise, and his eyes protrude. His mouth was open as he gasped for breath. His tongue felt like leather. He felt the turmoil within his brain was such that something must surely snap. He tried to scream and was vaguely aware of some hoarse croak which was his voice, distant and detached from himself. Watson ran on. You know, there was this Cthulhu-Sherlock Holmes combination thing, uh, the shadows over Baker Street. This sounds like something out of that. <laughs> okay, now this is a dick move. Oh yeah, that's right. I just installed this on this computer. Because <clears throat> the computer I was using on us having technical problems. Um, I actually own two copies of the discs for this game, and yet I've also purchased it off of GOG, just for the convenience of an installer. So I just want to show you this. Oh, by the way. Yeah, that's death. Absolute death. So, this is a dick move. If you were reading the sign, it means that you know the meaning of one wrong move. And yes, I would lose the game for it. That's why I just saved, just to show you that sign! Because <laughs> yes, he would catch me for the little movement cost of using that. Alright, alright. In his haste, Watson slipped on a patch of ice. He fell on the ground and rolled to his back. He felt his last ounce of energy drain from his body. Snowflakes floated down and lightly touched his face as he thought to himself, So this is how it ends. A tear ran down his cheek and froze in place, as he realized he would never see his old friend again. Then in the distance he heard a bird-like voice calling to him. He turned his head in the direction of the sound and saw a griffin high among the clouds. It says, it said, Rises up, Wazins! Rises up, or all shells be lost! You know, I already reacted to this the first time I saw it. I'm, I'm totally over the weirdness of it now. I'm totally just... Let's see... Watson laughed and thought to himself, I must surely be near the end. I must surely be near my end to imagine such a sight as a talking griffin. Watson lay in the snow, motionless, awaiting the arrival of the Taker of Souls. Then the griffin spoke again, this time much louder and in a commanding voice. Rises up, Watsons! Rises up! The game is a footses! <laughs> With the utterance of that last phrase, Watson bolted upright and made a dash for the gate. As Watson passed through the gate, to headed towards some unknown vortex, he took one last glance over his shoulder and looked into the eyes of death. As he did so, the skeletal specter let out a long, loud, piercing scream at the loss of its prey. The sound rang off the snow-capped mountaintops and echoed in Watson's ears. It would be a sound that haunted his dreams for many years to come. Everyone wants to see Holmes vs. Jack the Ripper. It's an absolute fan favorite idea. Boy, all the stuff jerks around really fast. Uh, uh, mm, didn't mean to do that. Uh, Watson tumbled out the other end of the vortex into the hot, he into a hot burning sand. Your period's over here. He rose to his feet and began to take assessment of himself, to see if he had suffered any injuries from his journey. He was shocked to find that he was now dressed in a suit of armor, and a mighty warhorse nuzzled his back. Yeah, you just stepped into a fantasy world. It seemed to be telling him to move along, that it was not safe to stay here. He looked back to the Griffins for advice, but they no longer spoke. They simply stared blankly ahead with unintelligent bird eyes. Okay, what I meant to do was... No... Ah! That's better. And I can take a gallop, too. Yes. That is preferable. 
group of marksmen asks, Are you the one they know as Watson? You reply, Yes. Good, we've been waiting for you. We will escort you the rest of the way. I'll take the experience, thank you. Yes, I should be an expert of first aid. Yes. Yes. So as you can see, the beginning of the game here is all kind of scripted. The very, very beginning here. Um, they fall in with silently with me with grim expressions on their faces. Champions are a like I think it's a fifth level unit. They're the only unit stronger than them in the castle in this faction is archangels. So that gives you an idea of how good champions are. But yeah, everything's really well on rails up to uh, the end of the prologue here. <clears throat> which we are fast approaching. As Watson approached the house, he could hear violin music coming from within. Holmes, is that you in there? <clears throat> Indeed it is, my good friend Watson. I have been patiently awaiting your arrival. We are about to embark on our greatest and gravest case to date. You see, Watson, about six weeks ago, when our housekeeper, Mrs. Hudson, asked me to find her missing niece, Clara, the reports of spectral entities roaming the countryside had just begun. My investigation led me to a vortex where I watched all manner of strange creatures entering. I decided to follow, so I enlisted the aid of Inspector Lestrade and Inspector Gregson. Gregson doesn't get nearly as much attention as Lestrade. <laughs> Then I wrote that out that letter to you. When we entered the vortex, we found ourselves transported to this world with no way of return. I fear now that it was all a ruse to lure me away from London for some evil plot. Then I said, Who do you expect is behind this plot, Holmes? He replied, I have my suspicions, Watson, but it is a capital mistake to theorize before one has all the facts. It's a wicked world. And when a clever man turns his brain to crime, it's the worst of all. Well, Watson, we seem to have fallen upon evil days. So many Holmes quotes. Yeah, except for that one sign that gets you killed. The very first thing you do is teach us that reading signs kills us. Then you tell us signs are important and we should read them. Mixed messages much? In spite of his capacity for concealing his emotions, I could easily see that Holmes was in a state of suppressed excitement. While I myself was tingling with the half-sporting, half-intellectual pleasure I invariably experienced when I associated myself with him in his investigations, I proceeded to tell Holmes of the eternal snowstorm that had struck London about the same time as his journey through the vortex, and that the spectral entities were now being blamed for all of the missing person reports. I told him of the horseman whose face looked like death in the race to the vortex. Then I said, I know it's not much to go on, Holmes, but what do you make of it all? I know it's not much. Uh, let me see. Okay, I need ten gems to go through there. I remember that. But he will get those gems. Okay. The same old Watson. You never learned that the gravest issues may depend upon the smallest things. What was the quote? The weighty matters that hang from bootlaces and something about sleeve cuffs. I don't remember. Anyway. Facts are facts, Watson. And after all, you are only a general practitioner with very little experience and mediocre qualifications. Watson was a good doctor. <laughs> Don't be hurt by my words, dear fellow. You know I am quite impersonal. Holmes proceeded to tell me what he had learned so far. There is no... Boy. There is no hope of returning the way we came. That vortex only travels one way. But I have learned of another vortex that may bring us back to London. Two rare artifacts are needed to access it, though. One is called the Sword of Judgment. It was stolen from the Arathian National Museum about six weeks ago. The other one remains a mystery. I suspect that someone has both in their possession and is making use of them to travel between Arathia and London. I also suspect that it is the same person who sent the Rider of Death for you. 
and is behind those spectral sightings. Then Holmes went on to tell me, The man who rules this country is called Mayor Ritt. They say he's an evil man, who's not above having one of his men stick a knife in your back to get what he wants. Not much more have I been able to learn about him, though. He is a very elusive character, always lurking in the background. He concerns me, Watson, because I concern him. I know he's been watching my movements since my arrival here. I have also heard of another group who oppose the current political structure, called the Brotherhood of Peace. They may prove of assistance in our plight. Holmes paused for a second, then spoke again. These are much deeper waters than I had first thought, Watson. I fear that something dreadful is about to befall London. He paused again, then said, There is an east wind coming. Such a wind as never blew in England yet. It will be cold and bitter. Watson and a good many of us will wither before its blast. But it's God's own wind, none the less, and a cleaner, better, stronger land will lie in the sunshine when the storm has cleared. This quote was from the last Sherlock Holmes story that Doyle penned. It was, I felt it was like prophetic for World War I coming on. And the story had been about a submarine. <laughs> submarine designs being stolen. Oh no, World War I era submarine designs. That'll change the course of history. <laughs> Those fall into the wrong hands. <sighs> but whatever. Ah. Watson, I shall need your assistance. I am going to the National Museum of Arathia to see what clues the local authorities have missed. But first I have a meeting with a fellow of ill repute that has come into a map that might be of interest to me. What a price that is. Oh, for a price that is. While I follow up on this lead, I shall need you to dig up what you can on this so-called Mayor Ritt. But be careful, Watson. He's a very dangerous man, and I could not forgive myself if any evil befell you. Keep an eye out for Lestrade and Gregson. I sent them ahead to scout out the land. They should have been back by now. Well, my dear friend, this is where we part paths. Where I go, you cannot follow. But don't lose heart. I am certain we shall meet again. Now wait by that sign, Watson, while I see if I can find a way for you to pass through the gate. Don't move a muscle. As I watched Holmes sail off, he shouted one last word of warning to me. Remember, Watson, don't move an inch. Stay by the sign till I send word for you. Oh, we're almost done with the prologue. Almost to the actual game. Okay, take some rocks. EXP. Oh, I don't care much for fire magic. Should have had intelligence, but I guess I rolled resistance. Okay. There, yeah, that should do the trick. Make a run for it. And whatever you do, don't get sidetracked. Alright. Da 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 da! Now I have to take this town this turn. A group of rogues stood before the castle entrance. Their leader spoke. Mayor Ritt has proclaimed this property condemned. Go back from whence thou came. You are not welcome here. I have stone skin. My, we are crawling at an incredibly slow speed. Why is this? Um... Why is it so slow? Why is it so slow? Computer, what is wrong with you? What ails you? These guys should be should be 
scurrying about. Oh my gosh. This I'm going to do one more battle after this. And if it doesn't speed up, if this is a thing just for the battles, I'm going to have to do something. And uh, come back. This is painful. Leave my griffins alone. Stab my swordsman, please. Thank you. Release them. Wait a minute. What is this? Oh my gosh. How did I not see that? Oh, that was obvious. Oh, that was obvious! Okay, much, much better, much better. Whew. That's an odd item to give me. Very odd. But this whole game is very odd. Why would I ever want the animation speed to be that slow? That was the default setting! I mean, I understand the computers were slower back when this was made. Back when this was made. Oh my gosh, how old was I when I first saw this game? How old was I when I first saw Heroes 3? I was in... 6th grade? I was 13? This game came out... 16 years ago, I think. Wow. Makes me feel kind of old. Resource silo. Because I'll be needing more uh, wood and ore to uh, build the stuff I'll need. Definitely need a ballista. What I need is a first aid tent. Since that's what my specialty skill for Watson is, is healing. At least I got haste. Alright, now the game begins in earnest, and everything's timed out perfectly, so I get the rules of the game here, more or less. Alright. There will be several mysteries you will be asked to solve, or give a summary of what you think took place throughout the course of the map. Some mysteries will have to be solved in order to progress through the map. There is no need to write anything down. I have provided the answers in strategic locations. You will always be asked to solve it first, sometimes given additional clues, then finally given the answers. At the end of the game, you will be ranked on your deductive reasoning skills. Rankings will be based on how many required artifacts you located without aid, time it took to complete the map, identifying certain characters' real identity, deciphering encrypted messages, and if Holmes and Watson are there for the final battle. It is recommended that all diplomat rings be kept with Holmes. If you lose one in battle, the game will become unwinnable. For that reason, any hero that surrenders carrying a diplomat's ring or ambassador's sash should be rehired on the level he is on. If no castles are available on that level, the game becomes unwinnable. Now, without any further interruptions, we return you to our special presentation of 221B Baker Street. I don't know how they're going to ask me for summaries of what I think happened or any of any of the stuff they just talked about there, but I choose to believe them. <laughs> well, much as it pains me to hire tier one units, I need uh, everything. Yeah, I have a flaming sword. It's Watson carrying around a flaming sword. Fine, I found a nifty ring. Cool. Alright. Meanwhile, Holmes... Oh, oh! Standing by the side of the road was a paper boy hawking his wares. Extra, extra, read all about it! Sherlock Holmes identified as prime suspect in disappearance of the Sword of Judgment stolen from the Arathian National Museum six weeks ago. He is also believed to have been involved in the disappearance of Constable Hicks, who was said to be hot on his trail. 
The Honorable Mayor Ritt has offered a reward of 100,000 in gold coins to any who bring Holmes or any member of his gang, dead or alive. Holmes smiled to himself as he thought, There's nothing more stimulating than a case where everything goes against you. Yes, I'll take the XP. Oh, man. Advanced fire magic. Well, I guess I am a fire mage of this game. I prefer air and earth. Especially air. Air is the greatest school of magic. Especially if you can get dimension door flight. Both of which are probably locked at this map. I mean, <laughs> dimension door would break this map real quick. Uh, I probably should not engage a pack of pit lords. My afternoon appointment should be just ahead behind that blue garrison. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Ah, uh, I'll take this. Mysticism. I don't want that either. You have a limited number of skills in this game. You can only have uh, eight per hero, so I try to be really picky on what I what skills I let my heroes develop. All right. Yes. Marksman. Well, that might be slightly more useful. I'm an expert tracker. If you let me out, I will. F I will find the one you call Inspector Gregson. I last saw him heading towards the swampland, noted n located northeast of here. Alright, let me see. Protection from curses, a little bit better here. I have an axe. Okay, now you're running around this way. Now, there's another thing over here. And, ooh, basic offense. I'll take that, too. Uh, and over here, let's build a uh, griffin tower. Hmm. Now, Heroes 3 has a very different design from, um, like, Master of Magic. Uh, obviously, I mean, it's a very different design, but I'm going to tell you a little bit about how it's different. Oh, uh, do I have... I do not have haste. I can cast... Because I have expert fire magic, when I cast bloodlust, it'll affect my whole party and have twice the duration. Um, I wouldn't exactly call it a zero-sum game, per se, but, um... I don't pay upkeep costs for my men, but I have a limited number of men I can make in town each week, and it ends up... you have to play the game very aggressively, and it, it's... Uh, you'll, you'll, if you're not familiar with the Heroes of Might Magic series, you'll kind of get an idea... Maybe you won't get the best idea of it from this map, actually. This is very irregular. Hail, kind sir, I am a professional tracker. I will locate Inspector Lestrade for you, if you release me. I last saw him heading towards the parched lands past the Blue Garrison to the southeast of here. Yay, southeast. You... You have a nice shield. Give that to me. Okay, so this tracker heads this away. This tracker goes uh, this away. And Watson has to deal with everything else. Now, I'm doing my best to build up stuff over here. Watson's probably going to go pick up more troops before he starts trying to stomp all this stuff that I see around here. Oh, boy. Pack of Master Genies. A pack of Leeches. We can take them. We can take some Genies!
So there's... Oh, they're not gonna cast any spells. Interesting. I would have cast spells if I were them. Uh, what to do? What to do? Uh, let's put a stone skin on you. It still cost me two. I think that those marksmen are the most valuable thing I have. I need to try to protect them. Not doing a very good job of protecting them so far, but I need to at least try. Okay. Rocks! I got a rock mine. Very good. Now I gotta go take that lumber mill away from the pack of power liches! Ugh. I could try to explain all the different mechanics of how the Heroes games work, but I've decided I think I probably just won't. Uh, for the most part. I might, I might say this and that. So these guys are kind of awesome. They cast a random spell every turn that affects uh, all my guys. I didn't really want to lose two Thunderbirds, but... I got slowed. Well, of the two, I'm going to take leadership. You know, I can kind of see Holmes having leadership, but I should have intelligence. I need air and earth magic, most of all. Archery would be nice. There's a lot of skills that are nice to have, but aren't really, you know, I don't really have to have. They're just conveniences. Dead silence permeated the air. There was no sign of his twelve o'clock opponent appointment. Holmes proceeded with caution. Hidden among the br bushes was a group of rogues. They sprang out and surrounded Holmes. The leader hissed the words, Give us the map and you might live. Holmes was not about to bargain under these terms, even if he had the map they wanted. Oh, we're hasted, and they're slowed. That is excellent. That is how every battle should be. Not to mention that bloodlust I put on us. Uh, hmm. You know what I'm gonna do? Oh, wait, they're not slowed. Why did I think they were slowed? Why did I think they were slowed? I don't even know. All right. Well, if you have expert air and earth magic, you can actually slow all your enemies with one spell and then haste all your own guys with another. Uh, I love that. I just love the combination earth and air magic. Holmes heard a cry for help coming from the shed to his left. Please, whoever's out there, let me out! My name is Clara, and I've been kidnapped! Ah, she's stuck. She's got nothing. Except basic estates, which makes her kind of valuable, actually. Makes me care about her. Ooh, earth magic. Well, Watson, looks like you're going to go there. It's recommended that you save the game before passing through any garrison. It's very insistent upon that. That point. Ooh, uh, armor is nice. It's recommended that you save before passing through any garrison. Angel that held the garrison informed me to be careful as the road ahead is heavily guarded. They also informed me not to expect any help as all the mercenary heroes for hire have moved further inland. An anti-magic garrison full of angels. Okay. I see it's the fifth day of the week. If I have... Yes, I might well be able to have a fully upgraded castle. Fully upgrading the castle increases the number of monsters for every uh, type. Like, whenever you upgrade it. Also, ups your defenses should you be attacked. All right, power leeches. Let me show you a thing or two. Let me learn you something. Ah, 
I'm going to haste you. Alright. Oh my gosh, even hasted? You can't make the distance? Really? Are you kidding me? Hasted, you should have had no problem. Uh, I'm going to lose my most valuable troops. Love archery units, but... Uh, I mean, I'm a real fan of archery units. Why the tower is my favorite uh, thing. Because they have uh, more archery units than any other faction. And on top of that, they... Uh, they're the only ones with a tier, uh, top tier ranged unit, the Titans. Uh, actually, I can get Earth Magic out of a witch's uh, hut, so I don't need new ores. Woo! Alright. Hmm. Now we're more or less up to where I had left off. Sherlock Holmes searched the rogue leader's body. He discovered a message stuffed in his boots. It read, Kill Holmes, then return to headquarters with the map and await further instructions. Holmes thought it might be worthwhile to pay a visit to their headquarters. He was sure some valuable clues could be found there. Now I get intelligence. Okay. Near the castle, protruding from some bushes, was the body of his twelve o'clock appointment. Whatever information he had, had no doubt cost him his life. So, we're gonna pick that up in a second. We're getting near to as far as I had gotten. I did, ah, uh, when it, uh, you know, when I quit last time, you know. I was telling you I'd played this a little bit before. We're about where I left off. <laughs> I hit it with a rock! Oops. No, don't do it. Get in there. Yay, plus one attack power. Okay. Now I have two cities. And I'm going to build another resource silo. I won't be able to build the castle this turn. But as long as I don't foolishly waste any of my ore... I should generate enough to finish the castle next move. Now I'm going to take the game at its word and not write this down. I have no clues to figuring out this cryptogram here. This cryptograph. Nope, I have no way of solving it at this time. I am not... never been a, a fan of cryptology, never played around with it, no good at this kind of thing. So I'll wait till I have some clues to solve it with. So... Oh, found nothing. Oh, so many places I want to go, so many things I want to do, but we're going to go back here. i got to find this green border guard. Warns me to save before crossing this threshold. Look at that. The cape belonged to Inspector Gregson. There's many rips in it. From the look of it, Gregson put up a good fight. Alright. Lucid pools. I don't even know what kind of that terrain does. But I do know that I'm going to go back here and make a delivery. Because... As much as the game wants me to play it a certain way... Oh, look, this ring belongs to in Inspector Lestrade. As much as the game wants me to play it its way... Yeah. There are various sanctuaries I can use to hide in. Uh, uh, and that's important. But 
As much as the game wants me to play it the way it wants me to play it, I'm going... Oh, I can't believe I blocked myself in again. With her. I'm going to play it my own way. Because I am the player, not the game. And I'm going to give Watson both pairs of gloves that boost movement speed. Yes, gloves that boost movement speed. It's a magic item. I don't know. It's just something that's in this game. Hopefully I can... Ah, oh, I don't have any crystal. Ah, oh, hmm. Crystal is something I desperately need. Um... Actually... I should purchase some more men. I really would like it if they were all upgraded, but failing that, I'll at least have some more stuff. There we go. A little bit better? A little bit better. I'll raise that with that. There. Okay. On the next turn, I'll hire some men. Okay, you need to go this way. Okay, you need to get up to here to have a word with Watson. Same with you. And he's going to hire more men next turn. Because it's a new week, and that's when you get to hire men again. So much I could say about Sherlock Holmes. I'm a big Sherlock Holmes fan. Uh, what I'm actually going to do is perhaps a little bit strange. I'm going to put all my stuff up. See, there's no reason for these trackers to have armies, I concluded. Because they can't win fights on, that, on the other side of that stuff. So I may as well... Oh, this ring is not going to... Hmm. You know, the plus one to health I think is better in the long run. So I'm going to go with that. So what I'm going to actually do instead is I'm going to pass the army over to uh, Watson. I'll let the nomads stick with uh, this guy here. Since the trackers are going to spend their time hiding and running and not directly fighting, uh, it only makes sense to me. Uh, hmm. might be better in the long run. We're going to put you with that for the moment. And you can have this. Uh, I guess this one can keep her army. Uh, actually... Hmm. Well, whatever. She'll head back. And that leaves Watson with increased movement speed and a uh, expendable army to uh, run around and kill stuff with. And running around with an army killing stuff. Oh my gosh. So we're gonna take all kinds of things here. And when this army gets all chewed up, I'll pull out my main army again. Alright, Clara. I'm actually going to give her uh, some experience, because she has estates, and I very much want to level that up. Now, before I leave this place, I'm probably going to want, if nothing else, Thunderbirds. If I can't get anything else out of this fort. There's a sanctuary here. There's probably good reason for it. I 
keep rolling high on these chests. Okay. So, done with her. Now, I'm gonna investigate these witches. And see if they provide secondary skills that Holmes might be interested in. Yes, I can take a pack of mighty Gorgons. Dr. Watson is not afraid of any Gorgons. Really could use a medkit, though. Um... 60? I won't even kill one of them. <sighs> Whatever. Okay. Good. you with a rock. Whatever. They're an expendable army anyway. They last however long they last. Now, I thought that Holmes would have ended up with a bunch of stuff from the tower, you know, like wizards and things. No, he hangs around with these unsavory characters. Uh, let me see. Actually, I should probably collect these chests over here. Boy, I'm already up to expert offense. Okay, we get some earth magic in there. Oh, boy. And you'll go up this way. Dame insists that the trackers, you know, that, that losing battles can make it unwinnable and all this other stuff, but I think the trackers are really just scouts. I don't even know why they were given armies, because there's nothing in those two areas. I do know that there's nothing in those two areas that those little armies can fight. I might as, may as well up this here. Earth magic, all right. Uh, you may as well pick up this. Uh, this. Lightning bolt, yay, that. Logistics would be nice, game. I may overestimate myself a little bit here. These... Uh, they're equivalent level to, uh, champions. Basically. These are Naga Queens. Oh my gosh! No! Don't get two turns. A very powerful unit. Very deadly. I love how the Thunderbirds get you struck by lightning when they hit you. Alright. Whoosh. Uh, we're gonna pull back. And I'll put this here. Throw a rock at you. 
I was about to make a pat bad pun because I have rocks, but no. I wouldn't do that to you. I wouldn't make you suffer through terrible puns. Yay! Now I can take the boat. The boat can be mine. is nice. Let me see. I want air magic and if possible logistics or pathfinding. If at all possible. Teleport. Useful. Okay. Move along. Alright. Hold on. People wonder at the travel, the heights of the mountain, the huge waves of the sea, the long course of the rivers, at the vast compass of the ocean, at the circular motion of the stars. And yet they pass by themselves without ever wondering. Enter and be at peace. And what you say? Next turn I can take, look up, climb up this tree and look around and... I'll see where the enemies, my enemies are. I need crystal badly. I need crystal very badly. Crystals are useful. Clara, uh, I need you to find out what's in this. Hold on. Now. Thousand bucks is useful. You might think that, a th that the experience is way more valuable, and I'm inclined to agree that the experience is more valuable. But, on the other hand, buying a couple troops you'll have those troops all game, and having more troops in a battle means that you tend to take less losses because you have more, f you know, more forces. It just ends up being good. Surprisingly good. So, uh... Also, among the treasure chests, the, uh, 1,000 ones, You get an experience for every two gold coins that at that numbers, whereas uh, you'd be getting uh, if you find a chest worth two thousand, you're getting um, uh, three fourths value. Anyway, you, if you've played this game, I'm sure you know all that already. But it ends up being a better deal. in my opinion. I could see you arguing the other way around, that, uh, you always take the experience. Although I seem to be being given lots of money, I'm wondering if I won't need it all. This army is running dry. It is not going to last me a whole lot longer. A pack of vampire lords? Well, I can't go up this road if they're in my way. Hmm. Peek. Hide. Oh, well, I could have taken this guy, I guess. But it's a little late for that. I'm not sure which way I should go. Uh, hold on, before I do anything there, I should do this. I care more about Watson's castle than I do uh, Holmes's fortress for some reason. Oh, come on! We've only just started! You can't cast spells, you've got 
ridiculous power, and I can't cast my own spells for resing. <sighs> Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I hope you don't get good morale. I want to kill those Cyclopses. Those Cyclopians. Whoosh! Just do as much damage as I can. I can't guarantee I'll win this one. Oh! Come on, I'm the one with the Archangels giving me morale boosts. My Archangels should be getting second turns here. Well, I'm losing this fight, but I'm doing a lot of damage to his army, so Watson should be able to kick some ass with his uh, old service revolver. Uh, should I break this? Oh, that was a waste. Should have hit the nomads. Alright, he's in my territory. Oh, you reached my hero! Oh no, my tracker! I have no way to rehire them if they die. All I have is magic arrow. Well, that's not very good. Ten, ten. Oh, the odds are heavily against me on this one. <sighs> oh, okay, the Hydra's down. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is kind of one-sided, so this tracker is just lost already. They warned me to save the game before coming in here. But I shouldn't cheat and load back every time some misfortune falls upon me. I still have Watson, and the game is still winnable right now, so we're gonna deal with this. I think I can keep fighting a little bit longer here. Okay, time to run away. Wish I had a first aid tent. No, I didn't manage to run away. Oh well. Huh. Red border gate. Hmm. That's good. You've got lightning bolt crystals. Excellent. Clara told Holmes of her abduction. Auntie Hudson sent me out to retrieve a bit of medicine a few weeks ago when I found myself confronted with an aberration in the form of a white dragon. I don't think there even are right white dragons in this game that I remember. Maybe in one of the expansions. I don't remember. Maybe there was. It quickly took, took hold of my shoulders and flew through some type of vortex. I swooned from the whole ordeal, and when I awoke, I found myself locked away in that shed you found me. One day I overheard two of the guards talking. They said... The boss said not to worry. The trap has been laid, and the bait has been taken. Were they speaking of you, Holmes? Boy, I'm down one tracker now. Ugh, navigation. Ugh, I don't need that. I don't need that. Well, 
already lost one of my two trackers. Now, I want to go nowhere near this... Oh, okay, he could pick up a new army. I want to go nowhere near him. Let's look around in this tree. Worst comes to worst, I can always send this tracker back <laughs> to uh, the swamp zone. How much longer can Sir Watson's army hold out? Freets and their fire shields. So, one more Thunderbird lost. Hmm. Oh, I can't hit them with... Hmm. Alright, fire immunity. Magic arrow counts as all four schools. It's the only spell that counts as all four schools of magic. No protection from fire... I know that Cyclops is gonna get hit a few times. Hmm. I don't know. This might be as far as this army takes me. I might have to go back and change it out for a, uh, you know, a real army. Put pro fire on this guy. Yeah, I think this army is too chewed up. I could risk going into further battles, but I just think it would be a bad idea. Oh, well, we can do this one at least. I can take the Dwarven Treasury. Psh. I can auto battle this one. <laughs> I just use magic arrow on dwarves? Why? They're resistant. Not as resistant as battle dwarves, but still, it's not a good. A stone skin was better thinking. <clears throat> I'm honestly a little bit surprised the dwarves managed to kill an ogre. Watson reduced to hanging out with these disreputable characters. These roughs. Okay, there's that green border guard again. I need to get a thing for that. Much as I want to go that way and kill more stuff, we're going to have to go... Ooh, boy, I don't want to get in a fight with him till I visited my uh, capital, or my city here, and gotten more men. Go this way. How far can he move? Okay, this is a question of whether or not the game is still winnable. If I lose Watson, that's over. Okay. There's the green again. I need to find the green border gate. Have to find that. Okay. Huh. I have 15 more archangels guarding this point. So I can feel, f feel fairly confident in that, at least. I need to upgrade that thing for my swordsman.
Now I'm going to put my ranged units with the uh, these guys defending them. If I get the swordsmen, the swordsmen will go here. And this stuff, because it moves fast, isn't going to be able to offer as much protection. Uh, this stuff can just sit here. I can... Uh... Wait a minute. No, okay, yeah, no tavern can never have a tavern. Okay, that's what I thought. I want to go north. I want to go north. this loop-de-loop -loop to that there. Okay, good. There's another green border guard over there. I saw it. I saw it. it. Yes, look at that. That's a two-way portal. Starting to get the uh, lay of the land. But people know what you stand for. It's equally important that they know what you won't stand for. That's true enough. Okay, good. Just checking. One more day, I'll be able to uh, hire a new batch of stuff. Meantime, Watson, you have work to do. I'm afraid your work is the opposite of the uh, healing that you like to do. <laughs> now, hopefully. I can uh, kill Craghack and take away one of his best men. Okay, so for my first trick, I'm going to haste this. Second trick, I'm going to haste this. Should have stone skinned this one sooner. Boy, this is an expensive fight. Oh. For some reason, I did not see that coming. Oh, what? He has the recanter's cloak! Oh, I hope I kill him. He doesn't run away and come back to pester me later. Okay.
Got him. Got him. By pausing my turns just right, I managed to time the battle. Got him. Got him. Okay. Nice. Nice. Crap. Air magic! Oh. Now that was a victory. Throw that away. That thing's stupid. That was a victory. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Not the overwhelming types of victories I prefer, but plenty good enough. suffered some losses and also scored some scored some points here All right What else should I make sure I have well, These attack twice if they're upgraded So let's get those Holmes can have all of this. <clears throat> Not perfect, but it'll have to do. Alright, Watson! Fine looking steed. Still in, uh, still in desperate need of crystal. Oh, and I'm out of money. Well, now. Not so good. Not so good. Oh, if I could just get green. How oh, you stuck? Take my ore mine. Ah, uh, okay. There's a gold mine, a crystal mine. I need both of those. And yes, that's what we need to do. Then I'll move out into this well-explored orange region, which has broken my gate down, so they can potentially attack me at any time, but has also suffered a defeat. Dark blue. Dark blue. Yes! That is Lestrade! Lestrade! I found him! I can go through this. Huh, but there's that green, green thing again. I wonder what... Th okay. Okay. Oh, my goodness. And that leads right through to there. Oh, oh, oh. I see how this goes. Well, we're going to go free Lestrade. Then I can use this tracker to explore the swamp region. Give me those. Give me those. You can hang on to this, though. I'll take that. And, uh... Oh, man. Hmm. Yeah, I think this will do. She can go back, then she can hide in the sanctuary in case anything ever comes by that could threaten her. Yes! I'm in here! Let me out, quick! Be quick about it! It'd be good if... It wouldn't be good if we're caught trying to escape. Ha! Huh. 
Okay, he's a level 5 knight. Couple good artifacts in there. This might actually be useful. Good skills. Ah. But our armies are incompatible. Hmm. Is it possible that I'm supposed to now conquer stuff? I don't know. I want to go find Gregson. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Let's let's hit this. Hello. What am I looking at? That must be where Gregson is. Well, <clears throat> I think I can slip a guy up in there. Hey, Lestrade, I think you can take care of that. Alright. I need to take this, and then I can get into my boat. As for you, Dr. Watson, take this gold mine. I apparently need gold. Gold, 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 gold. Haste. <clears throat> it's like the haste isn't actually increasing my movement speed. I don't get it. But I'm very glad to have taken Crag Hack out of the game. He's one of the better heroes. Uh, especially offense. I believe, and that's it's really good. My favorites are Lord Heart, Crag Hack, and uh, Solomer, my favorite three heroes in the game. Solomer, of course, is completely broken at the beginning of the game. His specialty is Chain Lightning, and I don't normally like a hero who specializes in a spell. However, just the fact that you begin the game with a fourth level attack spell that's really good, you can start every battle. Just Chain Lightning! Chain lightning. So for those early, early, early game stuff, he just kicks everything's ass. It's amazing. Still not being offered logistics. I do want spells, but I should upgrade my portal of glory. Hmm. Find myself just in need of crystal. Keep saying it. And it keeps being true. Oh, what's this? Holmes could hear the whistle of the fairy blowing. Must be time to depart for the National Museum. I had best be on board very soon, he thought to himself. Clara, my dear, would you mind staying here? It wouldn't do having both of us out and about. I'll send word as soon as I find anything of interest. Clara is largely going to be for uh, picking up this stuff. But uh, mostly she's going to hide herself inside this, just in case anything bad ever comes along. I was planning on going to the boat just now. They really have everything timed out in this map. It's kind of impressive in that regard. Okay, there we go. These are actually a more dangerous enemy than you might suspect. Looking at them. Maybe I should have gone with sorcery. Oh well. Uh, what are ice elementals? Hmm. Hmm. Oh, 
I don't know what secondary skill is in there. Hmm. Oh, my army's tiny. <laughs> this unit actually c takes up two squares because it's wider, so it was just able to hit it, but these guys only take up one square, so it couldn't, could not quite reach them. Did not have enough movement. I hate losing marksmen. I keep losing marksmen. Rob another bank. Good old Watson and his law-abiding ways. <clears throat> Donk. Stonk. Now I can see why the newspaper would be blaming uh, Sherlock and his associates for stealing that sword. Ooh, got some crystal out of that. Defense. Um, I should be dealing with that crystal mine up there. Why not? Fire magic. Crystals! Awesome. I'm gonna have to investigate this and see if I can't take it. But I know where Gregson is. So that is where we're going. But I'm still hiding. Your vision will become clear only when you can look into your heart. Who looks outside dreams? Who looks inside awakens? We serve the brother of... Yeah, okay. Brother of bees, no harm will befall you here. Well, might as well build these things. Homes might turn out to come back there and resupply at some point. Hello! Are you gonna keep going around messing up all my borders? Same strategy as last time, I'm not able to res my guys. Archangels have the ability to resurrect, but can't do that um, in an anti-magic zone. This isn't one of those anti-magic border guard things. Now, I want to be careful I don't let the Hydra hit everything I've got. So... These can insta-kill! Ah, oh, they got one! Good. Hmm. Ah. Alright. Like that. Finish them off. <sighs> Good. Kill the archers. I know this is a losing battle. I just want to do as much damage as I can. I should have left one vampire to mess up the enemy morale. Undead are very bad for your morale, having them on your side. I wish I could steal his tent. Okay. I do believe you can finish this off. Oh, and he can reach it too. Good. I am glad. 
I hope you can finish this off. It just now occurs to me maybe you can't. This hero is way better than you are, and has a ton of magic, but at least you have one spell. I think I may have screwed up and lost the game. Anti-magic? Ugh. I think I have. I think I've completely screwed this up. Oh my goodness. stuff again. <sighs> Oops. Gotta kill the Hydras. They have anti-magic. I can lightning bolt this a couple times. Oh my goodness, I can't win. I completely screwed this up. I can't lose the straight. I know that would be game. I really thought he could have finished this off, but nope. Okay. How long ago did I save? I have an auto save. Ah ha ha ha! Lovely. Thank you, auto save. Ah. Oh. oh crap! I have to replay this. battle a bit better. Hmm? Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> okay. changes things just a tad. Huh. Slice into them mo wyvern monarchs. Leave the vampires to muck up his morale. I think that the, that the Gorgons are the worst thing because they keep getting that insta-kill, taking out Archangels. I think Archangels could resist that. Oh, they're gonna get all the chests and stuff. I 
I want to try it again. <laughs> I want to go another round. <sighs> okay, next turn, Gregson will be with Lestrade. Maybe I can combine their armies. Maybe I can score a win with the two of them. You know, he's got an army now, but I just don't want to throw him into battle. I'm uncomfortable. I'm really uncomfortable <laughs> with that little army. But if I could score a win, it would make a huge difference in the long run. Alright, well, uh... Mm, arr, mm. That's melee only, not ranged. Slow. No, you've got ranged attacks. Oh, no lightning bolt. Wish I had haste. That'd be good. Well, I got my wolf riders. We're running low on time. I want to keep playing. I don't want to go to work. <laughs> but I have no choice. I'm checking something. I can continue for another... Oh, ten minutes, I, s I would say. Approximately. So... so that's locked up. But I can go here. This way. Lay anchor. Okay, I don't consider it at all even slightly cheating to check to see what it is and then to load back. Because you absolutely should have the right to refuse to, like, just say, no, I didn't want that skill, thank you. Should absolutely be offered the choice, do you want to learn this skill? Okay. These things... Attack all adjacent enemies without retaliation and spell immunity. These are actually a very high end unit from uh, one of the expansion packs. For the uh, Conflux or uh, Heroes 2, it was the Conflux. I don't know what it was called in uh, Heroes 3. Or maybe I'm mixing it up and getting it backwards. They're basically on tier with a champion, as a, in terms of unit level. I'm spread out so they can't really do their thing. But, uh... I think you're kind of getting a feel for how dangerous they are. <laughs> more movement makes the uh, champion hit harder the more he moves before he attacks. Ugh. There we go. That was expensive. Well, okay then. I just needed this crystal mine. I can grab this stuff here and pull back. S 
what am I missing? I have the money, I have the crystal, I have the ore, I have the sulfur, I have the gems. Why can't I afford you? 20,000 gold, 10 gems, 10 crystal, 10 sulfur. Oh, mercury. Mercury. Well. Well, I trade for one mercury. There, on the market. Let's just do this. Now, the next time Watson gets to town, he will have Archangels. Hmm. Holmes has arrived in new territory. Ugh, really? I hate that thing. Hopefully I'll find a clue to that cryptogram here. Oh, crystal. Hmm, might be time to visit that tree. Heading back. Uh, you're hiding in here. Yes. Oh shit. Oh crap. I'm just gonna have to throw these away. That was unfortunate. Alright, Gregson. He has the Glyph of Gallantry and the... Oh, that's interesting. Nice. Uh... <sighs> Although I know Gregson's a better detective, I think I'm going to trust Lestrade with, um... everything. Here, hold my hydras. Hydras are good units, but we're gonna go with this. Keep all my our, our morale straight. Okay. Now you are in for it. You're gonna get it. Ah, I wanna conquer things and do stuff and... Maybe it would be better if I conquered this city. Probably. Probably better. Okay, everything's looking good in the towns. Alright, the big iffy battle. The big iffy. I would very much like to have some more nomads. I can't see anything in here, but it shows a sword. Why can't I tell what's guarding the garrison? Is there any reason I should not be able to tell? Take everything. Oh, we, what, what? You can pass through that? You could? Oh, oh. Well, I guess you get my ore and wood up there. I gotta get to town and load up on men. Us. Uh, Very good. 
Oh, nice. That could be a big deal. moment, I'm just gonna stash Gregson there. Well, straight is going in for this, uh... Sure, why not? He's going in for this, and he'll hit it before the end of the week. Yeah, that's what we'll do with that. Alright, I... what is in this garrison? Oh, good. It's not 10 or 15 Archangels? Okay. You know, I've never seen a multiplayer map where they put a garrison before your capital and just put some men in it. To just make it so players can fight over resources but not take each other's castles at the beginning. I can't take this. Nope. This can't be. I should have been able to see what was in here. I mean, I really should have been able to see what was in this, um, garrison. So, I don't even know what to say. But I can assume that Lestrade will be looking at the same kind of situation at that other castle. Which is unfortunate. Though he might have enough forces to take it. Oh, man. Maybe I can take this. I can take the garrison. Well, can I take the castle, too? Getting extra turns. Hmm. You know, the auto battle's not bad in this game. I mean, it's not as good as, you know, I can play, but it's not, not bad. Left him with if I had left the uh, trackers with their armies instead of giving some of it to Watson, and they had hit these, they'd have actually gotten sizable armies and been able to uh, probably take the cities fairly easily. The blacksmiths of this town tells you no one has ever seen the face of, had ever seen Mayor It face to face. He implores you to run the mayor's cronies from the castle. He also mentions a group of Cyclops Clops kings off to your right that would be willing to help. Well, I have this. Can't have a city hall here ever, or the better buildings. But I took it before the new month, and I can even hire men that, for whatever reason, I guess he couldn't afford to hire. And I can have this gold mine, and I can have these Cyclops Kings next turn. Can't build a capital seemingly anywhere, though. Wow! And we are out of time, so I can't find out what happens with the Strauss battle! Oh! Oh. And I want to know... I want to know... Ten Cyclops Kings. Oh my gosh! Well... Okay. Now, last thing to do here is... Uh, or, uh... Oh, wait. Hold on. Uh... Wait, no, this. 
Uh, hold on a second. I'm trying to, uh, ah, 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 ah. No, that's not it. Hmm. Nope. I can't get my end card to play. Well, crud. So, fine. I'm making three links. Uh, this link right here, right next to my uh, thing, that will take you to the next part in this Master, or this uh, Here's Might and Magic Let's Play when it's ready. Down below, a link that will take you to a Master Magic Let's Play by me, uh, from before. And over there, I'm going over... Sorry, everything's backwards like a mirror. Over there is going to be a link to uh, a trailer. Because I do trailers. And somewhere over there, subscribe link. Bye, this is Hadrix, signing off.